State Warriors have lost 29 straight games in San Antonio, but it's the playoffs now, and this is a confident bunch that heads into Spurs territory after taking down the Denver Nuggets. Now, Tim Duncan playing with the stomach flu. We take you into the second half, third quarter specifically, and Steph Curry just getting a little bit warm on the baseline. We have got a theme alert for you when he wasn't making shots. How about a little flip behind the back over to Draymond Green, knocking down a triple. Steph, 11 assists on the game. They just can't handle the ball. Doesn't matter. Pick it up. Throw it in. 18 of 35 on the game. Look at his teammates' reaction to Steph Curry. See it one more time. Just picks it right up off the hardwood and pours the shot in. He was also 6 of 14 from range, and I mean range, knocking down the deep three right there. Keep your eye on the score as well. Golden State. Up by 11 at this point, he's driving to the basket and making shots and then just way deep at this point. 22 points in the third quarter. He scored 12 straight at one point to cap an 18-3 Golden State run. Meanwhile, Tim Duncan in the fourth quarter heading to the locker room with that stomach flu. He would not return later. Fourth quarter, Tony Parker with the tough dish. And somehow Kawhi Leonard gets that shot to go down. He had 18 points, nine rebounds, a buck, 25 left. Steph Curry blocked in this part of a San Antonio furious rally. They came tearing back at the young Golden State squad. They cut it down to three. Now it's a one-point game. 30 seconds to go. Jared Jack, big money shot right there from Jack, who had 15 points on the game. Now 25 seconds left. You see the score. San Antonio down by three. Danny Green was terrific for the Spurs. Six of nine from range on the game. That caps an 18 to two Spurs run to close the fourth quarter and tie it at 106. Now Steph Curry, ball in his hands. Game on the line. Fourth quarter, less than 10 seconds to go. Teams tied. This for the win, and just terrific defense from all the Spurs. Tough shot, doesn't fall, so the game goes into overtime, and in the overtime, this is Manu Ginobili outside to Boris Diaw. This ties the game at 1-11. Great shot from Boris Diaw later. You see the Spurs with the steal. We go the other way, and this time Danny Green driving to the basket. He had 22 points on the game for the Spurs. Now Jared Jack driving to the basket, tying it up at 115 with 20 seconds to go in the game. How would the Spurs answer? Well, 5-4-3-2-1, it's Manu Ginobili, but he's off. Just off right, tough shot for Ginobili. So the game goes into double overtime. Steph Curry's dad cannot believe what he is watching in the second overtime. Steph with more passing. This time to the rookie, Harrison Barnes. A double-double for Barnes. 19 points and 12 rebounds on the game. Huge game for the rookie. Later, 2.18 to go. Boris Diaw pulling up on a jump shot. I'm not afraid to knock that one down. Seven big points for Diaw. San Antonio up 121 to 120. Tony Parker creates a little space and knocks down the jump shot. His 28 points led the Spurs. He had 28 points, eight assists, eight rebounds. Now, 123-121. Tony Parker and the Spurs work it over to Danny Green, who knocks down a big grid. 126-121. Spurs opening up a bit of a margin. It's a three-point game with 50 seconds to go. And for some reason, Manu Ginobili takes a crazy deep three-pointer and misses it. This gives the Warriors a chance, and would they take advantage? Well, they got Steph Curry, so you know they're going with the number 30 to the basket. And he gets the beautiful finger roll play, cuts the lead down to one. Then Tony Parker cannot get the spinning layup. Warriors just race out. They've got an advantage on the other end, and it's Ken Bazemore. Straight from the D-League, he's a hero with the reverse lay. Golden State up by a single Spurs late chance, and it's Manu Ginobili with a three-pointer. 1.2 seconds left in the game. He redeems himself with this deep three-pointer. San Antonio up 129 to 127 with 1.2 seconds left in the game. So Golden State would have one last chance, and that last chance would be Jarrett Jack. Even a tough shot. It's off the backboard, it's off the rim, it's no good. San Antonio, the veteran team, completes the comeback. They get the win in...
Makes it a three-point Golden State lead early on here in the third, and a steal by Kawhi Leonard. And a timeout called by Golden State as the Spurs climb to it in one. Playing good defense. Jack trying to penetrate again against Neal, and there's the turnover. Thompson defending against Ginobili, and Neal puts it in. Two on one. Transition for points. And Greg Popovich said that's where the Spurs need to get a lot of their offense. It is only a four point game here as Parker going out to Ginobili. Takes Barnes. Goes in. And this is the loudest we've heard the crowd tonight. It's a two point game. And now. Here come the Spurs with Ginobili, guarded by Baysmore, 18 on the clock. Here is Green, hit it! Danny Green, his fifth three-pointer, ties the game. Play for the last shot. Stephen Curry, guarded by Leonard. Parker, can't do it. And now the Warriors have it. Pushing it up, down by one, and here is Braysmore, Braysmore! Ken Braysmore putting the Warriors up by one with 3.9 seconds remaining. An unlikely performance. Here's Ginobili for three. the second overtime you took two threes one you missed looked like Popovich was going to kill you but you nailed the last one I don't know I, I was wide open so I didn't have any other option if I could have thought about it and do something else I could have I, I, probably a second shot I made all day good timing though you guys are down 16 with a little less than four minutes to go in regulation you're down five in overtime you're down two you're down one with four seconds left how on earth did you win this game? I, I have no clue. I really got to watch it to see what happened. I know they started missing shots. I mean, Steph in the third quarter was unbelievable. And then, he, I guess he got tired. Trey Thompson uh, got fouled out. So they, they ran out of options. And we just kept going. Tony was good. And we just, you know, made the last shot. It looked like your small lineup started to be effective after Timmy went out and got sick. Yeah, we, we were struggling with the bigs. I mean, Thiago out. Tim sick and Morris first game after three weeks so we, we were struggling in that area and the five smalls really helped us Boris did a great job on Curry too on switches all right six more of these I can't believe it man. I need a rest I need 24 hours thanks man